One common issue that we have with power steering systems is removing air from the system after service. Frequently, when you replace a pump or even flush a system, you may get air in the hydraulic system of the power steering. Some vehicles, removing the air is very simple. There are no special techniques required. Other systems, you may have to do some additional measures to get rid of that air. We need the air removed because it'll cause noise and it can actually shorten the life of the power steering pump. So it is very important to get rid of it. The manufacturer's technique for doing this consists of step one, verifying that the power steering fluid is filled to specification. If the power steering fluid is low before we start, we want to be sure and top it off to the correct level using the proper power steering fluid. Some systems require steering fluid like this. Some systems still require the use of automatic transmission fluid in the power steering. Check the manufacturer's specifications and make sure you're using the correct fluid for the application. Once the fluid is topped off, the next part of our process consists of installing a vacuum adapter. These are available from various tool sources. And this adapter goes in the fill cap of the power steering reservoir and we're going to attach a vacuum supply to this to help draw the air from the fluid. In this case, we're going to use a hand vacuum pump like most of you already have in your toolbox and we need to pull 20 to 25 inches of vacuum on the pump while the engine's running. You can also use an air conditioning vacuum pump for the same purpose. But in either case, it's recommended to use a liquid vapor separator to catch any power steering fluid that may get pulled out along with the air. Now to start the process, we're going to go ahead and start the engine. And we let it idle. I'm going to draw 25 inches of vacuum on the pump. And as I draw the vacuum, you can hear the pump starting to make noise as we're pulling the air from the fluid. And while the vacuum stays applied, we're going to turn the steering wheel from stop to stop 10 times. Once we've cycled the steering wheel 10 times back and forth, we're going to shut the engine off. We'll release the vacuum. Then open up the reservoir again to check the fluid level. In the process of pulling a vacuum, we may have pulled some fluid from the reservoir, so we want to make sure the fluid is still filled to spec, and if not, we're going to add more fluid at this time. Once we've topped off the fluid, we go ahead and install the vacuum adapter again. We're going to start the engine. Apply 20 to 25 inches once more. And with the vacuum applied, we're going to again turn the steering wheels from stop to stop 10 times. Now that we've cycled the steering wheels once more, we'll again shut the engine off, release our vacuum, and we're going to check that fluid once more to make sure we didn't draw too much out along with the vacuum pump. Once we've verified the fluid level, we'll check the system for leaks, make sure Everything is clean and tight, the fluid is filled, and we'll bring this car back to our customers.